new review this afternoon. This time it's Maitre Parfumer et Gantier's Racine. It was released in 1988. The nose behind it is Jean Laporte and it's categorized as a woody. This house is criminally underrated. Racine starts out extremely bright, like a mirror in the sun, like a 20 foot high neon light at midnight. So one of the brightest openings you, you could possibly imagine. It's so overwhelming to the senses that it gives off a little bit of a camphorous feel. So if you like extremely bright openings, this is it. That citrus start is a combination of lemons, limes, grapefruit, and just a little bit of orange peel. This opening goes on for about 45 minutes, so you're going to maintain that brightness for quite a while. If you were to go somewhere or, or go into another room after you spray it, people are definitely going to know what's up because it's very loud. After about 45 minutes and that settles in, the vetiver becomes more apparent in this. And it is a combination of dry, smoky java vetiver and an earthy, salty Haitian vetiver. So these bright, smoky, earthy vetiver notes mingle with that uber bright citrus for about two hours. So it embodies everything you could imagine about a citrus vetiver being that first couple hours. You really lose all of the citrus after two hours. And you, you're you left with that vetiver combination. But when the citrus leaves, it's replaced with a clean white musk and a tender sandalwood. That sandalwood is not creamy. It's not dry and splintered. It's treated and finished with the highest quality abrasives. So it's like running your hand over a freshly finished sandalwood table. So you get that woodiness from the sandalwood, the woodiness from the vetiver, the earthiness from the vetiver, and you get that clean musk going on to kind of round things off a little bit. Being that it, it was made in 1988, you would think there would be some oak moss in it, but this bottle you're looking at here is the most recent formula, the most recent bottle design. So I imagine there was moss originally in the 80s with this, but it's it's since been lost with the uh, the ingredient restrictions. So don't worry about getting a, an over, over overdose of oak moss because you won't find it. This type of fragrance is not going to blow you away with complexity. However, the execution of this combination of notes is nearly flawless. You can tell that Maitre Parfumer et Gantier uses very high quality materials when they create their fragrances. When you wear this fragrance out in the heat, you get a constant re-blooming of that bright citrus start. When you get warm, when you begin to sweat, you get that refreshing burst from that juicy citrus. So this is definitely a fragrance to be worn outside if you enjoy that that brightness. You could view this as 
the precursor to fragrances like Terre d'Hermes by Hermes and Guerlain's Homme Lo Boisie. So if you like fragrances like that, this is definitely in that, that same genre. You can find Racine for a very reasonable price. I picked up this bottle on eBay for $40. So if you keep your eyes peeled, you can definitely treat yourself for a very reasonable price to a, a very well-made, well-executed niche fragrance. If you've tried this one, let me know what you think about it. I'm really a big fan of it. Don't take my word for it, please. You know, Go out and, and test it out for yourself. But if, if you are a big fan of citrus vetivers, this is definitely a safe blind buy. If you're a woman that enjoys vetiver, due to the sandalwood and musk in this composition in the base, I highly recommend you try it. It's not going to be a feminine vetiver, but a woman could definitely pull it off very easily. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.